Hello Zombie Slayers, welcome back to another episode of Single Shooters Zombie Series. Today we'll be going more in depth on the next buildable, which is the Zombie Shield, which is assembled at the diner, which is the second stop that the boss, the, the boss? The bus takes on the map Green Run in the game mode of Transit. Okay, now, would you shut up? I'm trying to talk here. Now, open the door, avoid the lava. Nasty lava. Okay, uh, now, first thing is, you need to see this big shiny house. This will house one of the two parts. Uh, the zombie shield only requires two parts, which is a car door and a trolley, um, which is kind of used to like pick up big heavy boxes and push along because you're too lazy to carry them. So, to make this zombie shield, you need to purchase this door for 750. Uh, and a quick trick, uh, a quick trick, a quick trivia fact is that the box will always spawn in this house first, no matter who you're playing with. Uh, no matter when you play, the box will always spawn here first. So, there are three spawns for each of the two items, making six spawns in total. They are all in very close proximity, so let's start with the first one. Already we've found it. There is one spawn here, which is on this side of the card. Uh, there is one on this table, so it'll either spawn here, on this table, or in the next room against this wall underneath this towel the dispenser. The so, what we do is we find the piece, hold X or interact, whichever one, whichever console yes, you are playing on respectively. I am an this zombie genius. pain. Excuse me, thank you very much. Go to the respective workbench and hold interact until the process is completed. The object will be seen floating in midair. Now, if you'd like to traverse across to the diner, purchase the door again for 750. Uh, there are three spawns again. There, it will spawn against this uh, oven here. It will spawn against this sink here. As you can see, it's just there. That is what the trolley looks like. Put it in focus mode. Or it will spawn on the back of this chair here. So, we pick up the last piece. So holding interact respectively, uh, we will not get downed by the last zombie and make a fool of myself on my second video of the channel. That is what we're not going to do. So now we run around him and spin 360. Why did I fire cool. off all my bullets? Okay. If we go to the workbench and hold interact, we will finish off the build and we will create the zombie shield. Now, this seems an some information placement. that you may not know. Uh, not that actually, because obviously you can only hold one bit of equipment and I already had a turbine so I didn't have to buy out of the first room How but the zombie shield this is the zombie shield and it is made from the car door and the trolley uh, with some duct tape which is quite handy because you don't have to collect the duct tape but this, this is what it looks like in a 360 degree view uh, it can be placed on the floor with the right trigger or shoot respectively for each console and you can like the assault shield in multiplayer hold X to pick it up again and every time you do, you lock the car door for whatever purpose that has. Now, for some information you may not know, uh, let's see how many hits it takes from the zombie to destroy us. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And... 15. It will take 15 hits of the zombie to destroy a zombie shield completely. Now, after your zombie shield has completely destroyed, do not fret. As long as you are standing in this general direction, you can still come back and pick up another one. But only if the other one has completely despawned, as in the zombie has blown it to pieces. So, that is 15 hits from the front or from the back, because they can hit you from the back as well. If you listen, see? It will protect my back as well. So this is very, this is especially handy when you need to revive a friend and there's a horde behind you and you may, you, you think you have enough time, but you may not. And you don't want to do a complete douchebag in front of your friend. So you put it on your back, you run over to them, hold revive, and that will give you two, three seconds against uh, about 24 zombies. It will give you about three seconds uh, extra for you to pick up your friend. Now, the final piece of information. Uh, this is a one-hit kill indefinitely, um, and in addition to this, it has a very, very funny 
uh, animation where it will um, you will slam into a zombie to slightly salt shield and they will go absolutely flying as if you're like Popeye or some ridiculous craziness like that. So if we can find a really cool place to hit him, see if we can make him dramatically disappear into the fog. Um, it's 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 not an overpowered piece of equipment as it only takes 15 hits from a zombie. There are about 24 on solo that can possibly spawn at once. Um, and uh, it, it, yeah, obviously it can be destroyed very quickly. Um, it can placed on the floor and it can also be used to um, hit some zombies. Now, if you look, I have 670 points, and... Play on, Macduff. Goodbye, zombie. I still have 670 points. That is the downside of this piece of equipment and any other piece of equipment that is lethal that you build in transit, is that they'll be very powerful. However, they will not give you points for killing zombies. Now, practical uses for this, you may ask. If you wanted to, uh, well, for putting on the floor, at least, uh, if you wanted to go get the box, you don't think you have enough time, then you could either put it outside or inside the doorway, and that this will split up an uh, any train of zombies. It will give them, it'll be, a, it'll be harder, it'll give them a distraction in addition to uh, a bit of a harder time to get in Currency while you uh, activate here. your box no or whatever else. Uh, but they seem to protect the, the shield a lot faster when it's on the floor. So uh, if you keep that in mind, um, let's pick up a, another one. Ammunition. And. Disgusting. That means I can be a turtle. To engage these if you ever had a lifelong dream of being a turtle, uh, now's your chance. And you can do it while fighting hordes of zombies. So that is even better. So this has been um, SS Guardians presenting you with another in-depth video of uh, Black Ops Zombies um, on transit. And this was about the zombie shield. Rock. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment. Let me know that if I'm doing it right. Give me any hints and tips. Um, I'd really like to know your feedback. Um, and comments, in my opinion, are more valuable to me than subscribers, as they will tell me that people actually like what I'm doing and they're not just hitting the sub button because they see one good video. Um, go again, Come thank you so much, uh, this is Guardians, and let's go out in style. Yeah.